Hi guys, welcome to Mind Dynamics. We create life hacks for busy people who want to change their mindset, learn faster and achieve more. I'm your coach Sakshi Chaitani and today I bring to you five pointers of five reality checks that you need to do before leading any team. So this video is exclusively for the leaders. Well, basically right now what we are seeing is a head of crisis, right? The tail is still to come. That means the after effects of this lockdown are yet to be seen around the industries, around the economy and around our homes and societies. So a lot more changes is going to are going to happen. And as I have already told you in my previous lectures also that we need to keep our mind open towards changes. So now I bring a reality check for the leaders that can help them communicate better with their team. Well, at the time of crisis, there are certain leadership points that play a very important role. Why I am telling this today is very simple because there are certain points that I have come across in the recent days that I have observed from the leading leaders leading all over the world. So we all are into certain situations that is giving us opportunities as well as it's giving us some struggles everywhere. So whether it be family, society, we are having opportunities and struggles. What we take and how we manage these and balance these out is our lookout and how we approach to specific things. So for leaders, what I observed with many of the current world leaders are they are communicating. The first point is you need to communicate. So whatever be the crisis, see crisis are can be a part of an industry or can be a part of a company at any point of time. There can be acquisitions, there can be mergers, there can be economic breakdowns. So a lot can be seen in many of the companies and it will be seen in the future and it was seen and passed as well. So this is what we have been seeing and in such a scenario, communication always plays an important role. If you must have observed, our Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi has been addressing the people and bringing them to calm. Had he been not addressing the people on live, what would have happened? We as general public would have not known what to do next. Some state government might be popping up some news, other state government might have been coming up with some other news. So there had been a total confusion and we would have a thought at the back of our minds that the government is in the same state as we are. But today the picture that is created in our minds is everything is under government's control. Now whether it is or to what extent it is on government's control that is still uh, to be seen in the coming up days but we can say we can rely on this fact that yes government is observing everything for us and there are people working for us so this is happening through the mode of communication as leaders you need to communicate and have a constant communication with your team second is the reality check that means you need to tell them the reality please do not put forward any uh, wrong situations in front of them. You need to put forward the exact reality of what is happening around your company and what are the crises that you guys are facing. Third point that is important is that you need to show them why you are taking certain decisions. Well, while a company is at the verge of some crisis or is at the verge of, you know, changing massively its structure or its culture, there are a lot of things that will happen. Some of the things will also include some harsh decisions onto the employees or the stakeholders or the customers. You need to explain them why or what took you to take these decisions. Okay. So it's very important that you put forward the reality. Second thing, you show them the results or the accurate data that why this was required or why such harsh 
uh, decisions were taken from the companies or management's side. To come, keep your uh, team intact and keep working is to provide them accurate data. Sometimes what happens is when we don't provide them accurate data, they get the data from somewhere else. That means there is a lot of talking happening when such kind of situations occur in offices and in, uh, in corporates or maybe you know your even your small setup or your small business. So what we need to do is we need to provide them with accurate data or accurate information that what has actually hit them hard at this time of crisis whether the marketing functions have hit hard or whether the customer uh, breakdown in the number of customers have uh, hit them hard or whether the product costing or product manufacturing has hit them hard so you need to tell them the exact reason that which is the zone or which is the uh, function of the company that has got affected and what will be the side effects of that function on your team or on your uh, you can say group so uh, whatever the conditions be reality check then you need to provide them accurate information you need to always communicate now coming to the fourth point keep it very simple well it's very important to keep things very simple and to break down the huge tasks into small simple steps that seems to be achievable what happens is a sudden blow comes from the market regarding your company and you start blowing the employees with that sudden blow and the uh, internal strength of the employees that was to work together and rely on each other breaks in that situation. What you need to cater to at that time as a leader is you need to give them a solution. Help them with a solution approach and not a problem approach. While you are telling the problems on one side, always ensure that you have the solutions ready on the other side before you address your team. This helps your team to be more calm at work and join each other to collaboratively work and bring out productive results. So what you need to do is to bring out certain specific tasks, break them up into small portions so that they can be completed fast and they feel like a sense of achievement and accordingly the results also, the contradictory results can be seen while they work on the rest of the task and if need be the, for the changes to be in the rest of the task they can be simultaneously done so this helps you a lot to break down the massive chunk into small pieces and bring it forward to your team so that they know exactly what when how things have to be done next i would like to sum up this video again by saying that sometimes you need to even over communicate by over communicate is what i mean is very simple suppose you have taken a team meeting and after you move out someone from the team comes up and says hey guys the team manager says this but i have heard this information from the outside group now what happens is as soon as they leave the conference room or the meeting room they start getting that information that was the missing part in your meeting okay so maybe you didn't tell anything or you didn't or you skipped out for anything so now they are trying to find out those things from other members of the com company now this creates two message one you were not transparent with your team second your team is disengaged they were to work on a immediate timeline or a deadline but what they are doing is they are wasting their time in finding out the accurate information so as i told you accurate information plays an important part second thing is over communication that means if you see or if you find your people getting disengaged it, at that time itself bring them together and engage them back to work that's your work as a leader so sometimes you need to over communicate to people again and again what you intend to do and what others are saying or why they are saying that you need to clarify so friends learn these five tips on your fingers and i hope this will definitely help you to be a good leader at your office and be the favorite one with your team so let's just go once again with the five points one is communication that you need to do continuously second involves uh, the reality check that means you need to tell them the reality third thing is how you need to show them 
that why you are taking certain kind of decisions fourth thing is to provide them accurate data and fifth but not the last is to provide them simple steps to break that huge rock into small pebbles so this will definitely help you i believe and if you feel that this video is helping you out to bring a change or bring a transformation in your organization please do comment below in the comment box and subscribe our channel share our videos with others so that others can also get a benefit from it keep learning keep sharing stay safe stay at home live a happy quarantine life thank you see you in the next video